Hello, my name is Max Rosengren, coming from RISE. Um, I work with uh, battery abuse testing, so I know this very well, um, and I normally talk about that. But I also do a lot of fire investigations. So I will give you an example of a gas bus that was in an uh, incident here in Stockholm, uh, the 10th of uh, March. So um, um, it was... Um, we, we take next. We take a, a movie here first, so you can understand what it is. See the flames from the gas tank and the safety wells when they went in. So if we take this from uh, the beginning and take details, I get a task to look into this accident uh, from the operator, um, and um, they uh, want to find reasons for the inc uh, incident and how well it's possible to come to that uh, end. So um, I went to uh, Fredriksdal, where we have the operator in this case, uh, look at the same bus type. It's an articulated 18 meter long bus. It have uh, five uh, gas tanks, CNG tanks. Uh, they are almost four meter long and they are 400 millimeters in diameter. Uh, so five of these are on, on the roof here. Um, the, uh, there are different kinds of uh, uh, gas tanks and this is uh, carbon fiber, glass fiber and a PVC lining. So it's one of the weakest uh, variants of, of the gas tank. So this day, there was a driver. Uh, it was a, a Sunday. He coming in in good time to his um, shift and um, um, st should disconnect cables here in the front. The buses are always connected to air and electric. So they already are ready to go. And in this case, he, uh, of some reason, uh, gets stuck with one of, of the um, air hoses here, and that was stuck in, in the mirror. mirror. And uh, he backed uh, out, and he didn't see that, so he uh, pulled all of the equipment from the wall down. So he gets a bit disturbed. Uh, now he also gets uh, a bit late uh, for his shift. Um, and um, he also uh, immediately pressed a button that they have to communicate with the traffic le uh, leading co uh, area. And um, that could sometimes be placed in a queue, so you don't get respond uh, immediately. So he start to drive, uh, and uh, he are on the way to the, the starting point uh, called uh, North Tull. Uh, so he need to go uh, to, to um, several um, bridges, tunnels, and so on. And here, when you normally go to that place, you take um, uh, Her Hercules uh, Gatan against Clara Tunnel. And this is a normal way if you take a car. In this case, he was disturbed. He didn't uh, understand that he had a gas bus. He didn't know that he was high. So you have no clue. So all signs that you will 
be presented here will be that he didn't understand that he that he had a problem. So the normal way is to take Söderleden here and he take right instead directly into the tunnel. Here is where that is shifting. So here he should go left, but he take the right. And here in the beginning, you don't see any signs or warnings of this uh, traffic place. We take next picture here. And then you see you have these hanging uh, metal uh, cylinders. You can imagine that will be uh, very noisy. But if you see a bus, the, the bus is, say, in, in the front two and a half meter high and, and uh, the gas tank is much, much higher. So it means that it will not hit the front of the bus. It will hit uh, uh, three meters in to the bus. And if you are in the queue, slowly moving forward, it could be possible that you don't hear that. In this case also, he were um, then contacted uh, back from the leading uh, and, and he started talking at, at the same time when he driving. Uh, you also see, uh, um, um, things here that, that um, read, uh, if there are a vehicle that are higher than three meters, you will have warning signs lighting up. So you, you can feel that this must be really good. You also see several um, um, three meter warnings. And uh, uh, he should understand if he know that he have a higher bus, but he didn't understand that. We continue forward. Um, you see also this traffic place is very interesting. I cannot understand why you put things in front of each other. You have a lot of information. You see al already from beginning, it's too much. And you also cover other uh, signs here. The warning signs here, the first uh, two, they are lighting up of this and it, it did it work. The problem is that there is a delay of two and a half seconds. So if you drive, for example, in 30 kilometers, which is possible, and, um, uh, of, and you also have this uh, sun protection a bit down, 30 kilometers, you will never see this. You have already passed the warning. Very interesting. And the, the lights here also get red they are red like five seconds longer than normal, then they went green. So if you still don't know that you are high, you have not seen any more warning signals, it's possible to continue. So he did, then you have this nice beam that was placed there because there have been so many incidents of buses or trucks and, and that kind of vehicles driving into this tunnel. I, um, I, uh, in the latest time here, 20 single cases that have been, and uh, gas tanks have been uh, moved from the roof, from the um, tunnel uh, roof, so to say, and down, and have g gas leakage and so on. So that have been several incidents, and they have not done anything about that. So they put this metal beam in uh, 20 millimeter steel, uh, to protect that no gas bus or other vehicle come into the tunnel and create problems. Then you have this equipment that were very interesting. This is a solution they have made uh, to avoid that you cannot communicate to a cell phone or um, handhold equipment. So then they put a mic on the front of the steering wheel uh, on the dashboard and also uh, bottom. So this is a single way communication system, a very old one. So you need to press the button to talk and release it to listen. It's also very bad hearing. So sometimes the, the driver needs to lean forward over the steering wheel to be heard. Um, so that was the case here. So immediately he didn't get this record, but he'd get it in this traffic situation where it was the worst you can have it. So he talked into this while, when this happened. Then you see the result. I have uh, put frames one second between. And uh, 
there is immediately a mechanical damage on one of the tanks. So um, they are on the same height, but due to that the road is leaning a bit, one of them is a bit higher. You see the black thing there, that is the one of the tanks starting to fly and loosen from, from the bu bus roof. And um, the hole is like 10 centimeters divided by the width of, of the tank, so we'll say 400 by 10. And um, of that, it get propulsion, start to flying backwards. And due to that, there was an opening in uh, the top of it, it start to rotate and, and go f in front of the bus instead. So it's hit the building in front of the bus, uh, approximately 15 meters up. And luckily they have aluminum shed um, um, uh, protection uh, in front of the windows. So that protected it from flying into the building, actually. You see, still huge cloud, um, not uh, ignition yet. But here you see on the right side, we start to get ignition. There uh, are um, witnesses, there are also other cameras saying that occurring uh, on top of the roof. Um, so where you s what you see here, it's, it's very difficult to, to see exactly what's happening here. Uh, what we see is that um, the gas was ignited inside the bus first. There was a boom, uh, press out the front window of the bus, the door was open in the front, and luckily for the driver, he could ex escape at this time. S and he was protected also by, by the um, um, plastic behind him. So um, he burnt his uh, ear severe and also uh, the left hand uh, because he held in that bottom. So, um, and then he had taken uh, um, the gloves that they, they normally have. So that was not protected. So he burnt these two. Uh, but I mean, amazing that he, he managed. We can also see here, if there have been passengers in this bus, uh, probably everyone have been dead. That is the scary thing. And then you see also the cloud outside was correct mix, and also in the next uh, pressure wave start. So it's a huge fire. Um, so this is uh, the, the result afterwards, um, a lot of damage, totally burnt. You see still two gas tanks on the roof, four have fallen in to the bus and one have flown away from, from the bus. And that is lying here on the pavement. Um, here you see the damage and the hole in, in that tank that was loose. And here you see that that still are on, on, uh, on the bus. And you can see that have the, the beam have also touched and, and make almost hole to this tank also. So it's very lucky that only one tank was uh, in this incident. So a summary of what we find in this uh, investigation. Uh, of course, we find a lot of different things. But the driver, uh, he of course is obliged to understand the height of the bus. He must understand what kind of route he must drive. In this case, the training was a problem. He was not trained as they say it should be done. So he, due to that, he was a bus driver for another company uh, or operator. He gets a short way to, to start driving. So. Um, I don't say that is the reason, that might be one possible pieces. Um, the communication equipment here, of course, th that also creates a bad situation, bad hearing. You need to concentrate, press, leaning forward, not good at all. The run in uh, protection beam in steel, is that the be best solution? If you, if you kill people outside or inside a tunnel, I don't know. For me, it's very strange to have that kind of uh, stop. Uh, they could also be easily solved with uh, traffic lights. 
if you keep it red, take uh, the, the stop um, that you have possibly to fall down, then it could not be moved until you have support and, and take the bus from that. So it's very easy to solve it. And um, we see on these um, traffic places here in, in Stockholm, there is no risk analyze. So it could be whatever. It seems that uh, the last incident steer what, what we, you will see. So there are more and more signs all the time. So it's very interesting. So there's some of, of the findings. So I have a short and quick uh, presentation here, but hopefully you have some view of, of this incident. And this is uh, as normal a statement that fit in also here. Thank you.